Good morning. We're back in King's Kitchen. So what I'm doing today on this special day, well, just a reminder, my, today is my birthday. And a few people called to say, hey, chef, what you doing on your birthday? So I say, hey, let me do my favorite meal. And it's called the ham and smoked sausage boil. So these are my ingredients. And you could add and take away if you want to. So I have my veg is my yam, my cassava, my corn, my sweet potato, my carrots, and pumpkin. So what I would do is I would add them into a separate pot because they tend to boil and finish at the same time. So I have my pot here for my, what I call my red ingredients. Because what I'm gonna do is use some bacon, my onions, my fresh thyme. I'm gonna use two cups of uh, broth. I have here my cabbage. I have my plantain, black pepper, and my complete seasoning. Well, I soak my ham overnight because you know ham is kind of salty. I would use my bacon, rend out the fat, so I could cook down. I could cook down my onion. I'm gonna let this cook down some. Just a small cup of bacon. Get the fat from the bacon. It's gonna help me cook down my onions. So I'm gonna cook down the onions, the thyme. I'm gonna add my just two tablespoons of complete seasoning. My black pepper. I'm gonna let this, like I say, get the fire. So you can see the fire coming up. Let that render some. And I'm gonna add my reds to this pot. Like I say, they kind of cook the same time. Once this is cooked, I'll pour off the water. Then I add, I would say my red ingredients to, to the pot. I'm gonna put in my yams, my cassava, and my sweet potato. Cover the pot and allow it to cook. I don't want it to get too mushy. That's why I'm cooking in separate pot. So when you bite into it, you can know what you eat. You know the difference between the yam and the cassava and the pumpkin. So I'm gonna work this out. Then I'm gonna get back to you when I start adding the ingredients in my other pot. Welcome back. I have this pot smelling so nice. Like you see the, the onions are cooking down nicely. I'm gonna add the two cups of chicken broth. show you this pot here. This is where I have the veg boiling down. Boiling down nicely. I kept the pumpkin out because that tend to cook quick. So when this is about to finish I'll add just add the pumpkin to the top of the pot. In this pot I'll put the cabbage and then like I said the same thing with the planting. I'll add that on later on but I'll start to add my ham. I got some big chunks of ham and then that allow them to cook down. Put them in until they cook. Make sure they cook. Use some good chunks. Go good with the edge. So I'm gonna add that. And I'm gonna get back to you and show you the progress we're making. And then I would add the smoked sausage, but they don't need too much cooking to happen. The ham needs to cook, cook properly. So we're gonna let this cook down and get back to you shortly. The ham is, and the sausage is cooked. 
Mm, it smells nice. So what I'm going to do is add my cabbage. this cook down and like I said once this is cooked once the cabbage is cooked down once the cabbage is cooked I'm then gonna throw off water on the veg. You see the veg is cooked already. They're nice. They're not mashed up. They're good to go. So I pour off this water. Then I add this red ingredient here with the ham, the smoked sauces and the carrot. I add that to the pot and then we could sit back and enjoy enjoy our boy. So let this cook. I'm gonna just put the come on here, here just to really stand down. And that should be not about 15 minutes or less, and then I'll show you the final product. So I'm getting ready to add my mix. Look at that, nice, all that chunky ham. What I did was separate the pork so it could, so it could mix through. I put some in a separate bowl. Mmm, smells nice. Very delicious, very delicious. So, giving me the opportunity just to mix it. Look at that, look at this boy. Mmm, smells nice. So I just let it, let the red simmer within, within the, the mix, the ham, have more to add to it. I gotta just show you a nice dish that I'm gonna have once I set this set this up. So what I would say is enjoy your day because I'm going to enjoy this boy.